Rustic Crust Pizza presents What's Cooking with Rustic Crust founder and president Brad Sterl. Here's Brad. Hi, I'm Brad Sterl. I have another great recipe I want to share with you today. Today we'll be using our new ciabatta pizza crust. The pizza today will be a caramelized onion, gorgonzola, pear, and arugula pizza. A great pizza. Now this is what you'll need. Caramelized onions, olive oil, chopped fresh rosemary, pepper to taste, two sliced pears, crumbled gorgonzola, chopped walnuts, and some trimmed arugula. Okay, we're gonna get started. We're gonna grab one of our ciabatta pizza crust. Real simple to use, you pick them up in your local grocery store. This is a new item. We just launched it a few months ago. So with this one, we're gonna start with a little bit of the olive oil. Almost every time I make a pizza, I like to coat it with a little bit of olive oil, just a little extra virgin olive oil. The aroma is nice, gives you a nice flavor. Real simple pizza. Uh, we're going to take some caramelized onions. We're going to spread these onions around. I like onions, so I like a lot. You can put a few around if you like a few, a few less. Caramelized onions are real simple as you make them. You know, they'll take probably 15 minutes in a pan. Cut them as thick or as thin as you like. I like to make them a little bit thicker. We'll spread these around. The next item we're going to put on here is some uh, gorgonzola cheese. So I'll, uh, I'll buy it by the block. You can buy it crumble. I, I personally like to crumble it up myself. That way it gives it a little bit better texture. I've got some nice big pieces. So when it comes out of the oven, you might have a few pieces that aren't quite uh, fully melted. But the idea is just to spread them around. Probably two and a half to three ounces on a pizza here. Not a, not a crazy amount. Then after that, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt, a little pinch of salt around the top. I like pepper. We'll put a little dusting of pepper on there. Now we're going to place this in the oven. We're going to bake it for just about uh, anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes, just enough till the gorgonzola gets a little creamy. So the next thing we'll do is we'll put it right in the oven. Here we are. Okay, so here we have it out of the oven. The cheese is melted nice, a little bit of browning. Looks perfect. We're gonna add the rest of the toppings. So I have a little bit of fresh rosemary. You can use dried if you like. I like fresh. I like the smell of it. And sprinkle a little bit around there. Just, you know, it can be a little bit powerful. So just sprinkle a little bit, like a half a teaspoon. It's gonna get sprinkled around there. We have a few walnuts. Walnuts can sprinkle around. I tend to put them under the arugula, that way they stick to the pizza and they don't fall off like they're doing right now. Get a few of those around. Then we have some pears. Now you can make this with or without pears if you like. I happen to like pears, so I'm going to put a few of these in there. Whatever your local seasonal pear might be, really nice choice. Then we're going to, we're going to cut it and then the arugula will go on top and it's a perfect serving. And for those of you that don't have a nice big knife like this, you can always use a regular pizza cutter. Works just as fine. I tend to have a few things that I like around here, and that happens to be one of my favorite knives. So now we're just going to take a little bit of arugula. You sprinkle it around. You know, it makes for a nice, colorful pizza. And there we have it. Your caramelized onion, gorgonzola cheese, sliced pear, and arugula. Ready to go. Visit rusticcrust.com. Find us on facebook.com slash rusticcrust. Or follow us on Twitter to learn more about amazing rustic crust products and special offers.